Hello and welcome everyone. In today's FP Automations demo, we will show you how to streamline your expense submission process by using these three tools. The tools we are using today are Microsoft Form to collect expense submissions, SharePoint to store and organize submissions, Power Automate to automate the approval workflow. Now, why is this setup perfect? For employees, they can easily submit their expenses using the simple online form. The managers can automatically receive and manage approval requests, and administrators can eff effectively and efficiently organize and track expense data in a central location. The benefits of the system include uh, efficiency because it reduces manual data entry and paperwork, accuracy because it minimizes errors by automating data transfers and it also speeds up approval process by giving automatic uh, notifications and lastly transparency it provides clear tracking and record keeping of all expenses submissions and approvals so let's get started first what you want to do is go ahead and create a Microsoft form in our case we have created a form called employee expenses approval and then for our use case these are the questions our employees need to answer uh, so first we have employee name field uh, this is just gonna be your regular text field second we have a date field and this is gonna be your date field third we have type of expense so we have travel expense food expense and supply expense so this is going to be a choice field so they can select one of these options as a, their choice and fourth we have amount uh, and this field uh, it's going to be a text field but you can set it as a number restriction so they can only provide a numerical value lastly we have a s section for description so they can explain more about their expense and go in detail why that amount and what exactly did they do either traveling wise food buys or what supplies they purchased we have a section to upload their receipt if they have any and lastly we have a section for approval here we only have one choice pending because they do not have ability to decide whether they're approving or rejecting this expense. Once you have this set up, you can now head on to SharePoint and here you're going to create uh, a SharePoint list. I already have one created. Uh, I call it employee expense approval. And here you're going to have title column. It's going to be there by default. You can't change it. You can't delete it. So you're going to add a date column, which is just date uh, type employee column which is like a, a single value text column expense co uh, type of expense column is again the choice column uh, as you can see if I edit it we have three choices here type choice and then uh, we have amount column again it's a text field but we have type selected to number and description is just multiple lines so if they have more than one line worth of description for it and lastly approval so here we're actually gonna have three choices instead of just pending so I added approved and rejected uh, I'm gonna explain why that as we progress through the video next we're gonna head over to power automate here we're gonna create a new automated cloud flow. I'm going to name it employee expense demo. Now, one thing we want to make sure here is we have this option when a new response is submitted, Microsoft Forms. If you don't see this, you can simply just type it in. And as you can see, it's here. And now you want to select this and we're going to click create in our last video we showed how uh, how to navigate using the new designer 
In this video, we're going to switch to the previous version of Designer so that you can have experience of using both of them. So when you switch over to the old Designer, you're going to be greeted with this box here. You're going to simply pick your form from the drop-down and then click on New Step. Now we're going to, here, so we're getting the form. Uh, Basically, we're getting our trigger every time a new response is submitted on the form. Now, what we want to be able to do is get the responses that are submitted in that form. So we're going to look for get response, get response details, Microsoft form. Now we're going to select our same form. And here we're going to use dynamic content to get response ID. Uh, then we're going to add a next step. This is going to be our step to use the collected responses and put it in our SharePoint list. So we're going to do search for create item. And we're going to select create item SharePoint. What this is going to do is collect the, uh, the collected responses will be organized in our SharePoint list. So we want to select our site. In our case, it's going to be our Power Automate site, and our list is called Employee Expense Approval. Now, wait a second, and you should see all these fields. So for title, what I like to do is I like to use the response ID from when a response is submitted, because each time it's submitted, it's a unique ID, so we don't get duplicates. And then I like to put a space and then employee name. Sometimes if you don't see it, you can just type it in the search. For date, we're just going to use look for, type in date uh, and we're going to use date. Then again, employee name, employee name, uh, type of expense. We're going to actually select cus enter custom value here. And we're going to look for type of expense dynamic content. Then for amount, we're going to look for amount. This, again, description. Oops. Uh, OK, let's do approval value first. So for approval value, I'm going to do enter custom value again. And we're going to select uh, our approval. And lastly, description is description. Now we're going to add a new step here. Now we want to request an approval. So we're going to look for wait, start and wait for an approval. And we're going to select approve, reject first to respond and give it a title. I'm going to just call it employee expense approval. I'm going to assign it to my email. In your case, it would be a manager's email. OK. And in the details, I like to, it's basically the body of the, think of it as a body of an email. So I like to, the way I like to do it is I like to do employee name and then we can use dynamic content and fill out that populate that then I like to do date uh, type of expense uh, amount So why do this? It's so whoever is approving can easily see all these details without having to navigate to the SharePoint list or having to look at the form responses. And we have uh, description.
and that's all I'm gonna do for now so they get a general idea of the type of expense the amount and the description and who is submitted and, and when they're submitting and then you can do something like this and now once we have this approval setup created we're gonna want to send an email of to let the people uh, submitter know if their request has been approved or rejected so we're gonna look for condition under control condition and for condition we're gonna choose outcome value from whatever the outcome of outcome of our approval request is whether it's rejected or or approved so we're gonna choose outcome is equal to approved so if this condition is true we're gonna add an action um, we're gonna send uh, we're gonna update item because we have to change this status when it's originally submitted it's in the pending status um, so we want to change that to approved or rejected so going back to that we're gonna select our site again which is power automate our list name employee and then for ID we can just use ID and we only have to change this value here so if it's true outcome equals approved it's going to be approved and now for if outcome is not equal to approve i'm going to add the same thing update item and select the same things power automate employee expense approval and ID will be ID and lastly we just have to make this rejected that's it now we're gonna save this and check for errors no errors so we want to test this so click test manually test okay and now what we have to do is click collect responses we're gonna fill out this form so I'm gonna do help I'm gonna do June 11th travel expense three thousand dollars work trip to Ohio we're gonna upload a receipt and then approval status they only have one option pending so submit once it's submitted you can head over to SharePoint and now if you refresh the page you can see Alps expense uh, submission and you can see if you refresh your outlook you should get a request and other way of seeing this request or in teams you should be getting a request so you can see and this is what i was talking about earlier that if you set it up like that the manager or whoever your person is approving they have idea of what's going on so we have employee name the date the type of expense uh, amount and the description so if you click approve here As you can see, we also got it on email, but I approved, so it automatically approves the email as well. And if we head over here and refresh it one more time, you can see the status changes to approved. Uh, this was the part one. In part two, we're gonna learn how to parse the image and the images will be saved here in one of the folders in your SharePoints for receipts. And we're also gonna try to 
create a power app to scan your receipts to automatically populate the fields. Thank you so much and see you guys in the next video.